Doctor, what is wrong with my girlfriend? I don't know if I should say congratulations on this, but nothing is wrong with her. Aside the fact that she is pregnant and will be having a baby soon. What? I'm pregnant? Oh my God, how did this even happen? I will leave you two to discuss for a while before I get back. <laughs> I can't believe this. We were so careful. How can this happen to us now? What do I do? My mother will kill me. Her only child and daughter got pregnant outside of wedlock. How do I even begin to face her? I'm so embarrassed and angry at myself. Baby, please calm down. I know this is not what neither of us planned for. But I believe God knows best. Don't worry anything. We will take responsibility and fix this like two matured adults would do. Fix it how? It's easy for you as a guy to say. Don't you know how society looks down on single mothers and heap all the blame on their head? How many people bother to find out their story? So tell me, Ben, how will you fix this? We would get married before anybody noticed anything. What about that? How can you even suggest that to me? Jeez, you are so inconsiderate. You want to marry me out of circumstances and not because you love me. Of course I love you very much. I'm trying my best here to come up with solutions, okay? Don't worry, I will do all right. Let's go home. Hi dad, how are you? My son, I'm fine. How is it going over there? A bit rough. Dad, I have something to tell you. Promise me you won't get upset with me. You know I could never be upset with you. What's the matter, son? You can talk to me. The truth is, well, Daddy, it's about Anita. And what about her? Please, speak up. She's pregnant, Dad. She's carrying my baby. Dad, are you there? Hello? Daddy? Wow, marvelous. Finally, I'll be a grandpa. You're not angry with me? Of course. I am. I am angry because you didn't do the right thing by asking Anita to marry you before you even thought of getting her pregnant. I raised you better than that. That's a story for another day, but I'm happy you had the decency to tell me. It's good they are taking responsibility for the pregnancy. So what are you planning on doing now? The right thing to do is to start preparation for a marriage. I love Anita, so it's not a bad situation. It's almost looking like a blessing in disguise. More great news. Now you are talking. We will discuss more about this soon. So we can start with preparations. Thanks, Dad, for understanding. You are the best. Mommy, guess what? Guess, please. You are not even trying. From my excitement, you should know. Carve, you make me this excited, mommy. I'm surprised at you. I'm pregnant! Yes, mom. Ben and I just came back from the clinic now, where the doctor confirmed it all. I'm expecting a baby, mommy. I'm the happiest right now. Yes, mom, it is. Ben doesn't suspect I planned the pregnancy on purpose. Neither does he know that the child is not his. Here is the best part, mommy. He wants to marry me as soon as possible. He is on the phone talking to Chief right now, so I quickly rushed to call you. <laughs> yes, it is. I just received a lot from Chief. He sent me 10 million naira already as a welcome to the family gift. Just like that, mommy. Okay, mom. I'll talk to you later. Ben, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to listen to all your evil plots you've made towards me. Anita, how could you do this to me? After all we've been through together. Ben, I... I... What more lies do you have to spout out? I thought we have grown past all the lies, caught and betrayal. Here I was, coming to tell you of the good news about fixing a date for our wedding. And the next thing I'm hearing... Is you laughing your head off in the bedroom? Anita, say something for God's sake. Ben, um, 
Oh, I'm so, so sorry, Ben. You are sorry. You are sorry, and that's it. I was so tired of doubting you. I deliberately never doubted you again. And after the last incident, know that I have had more reasons to in the first place. You pretended so well. Even put up all the drama of firing Andrew when I walked in. I said it better from you, Anita. Way better. This is how you took my trust and did with it as you pleased. Let me explain, please. I don't want to hear it, please. Just go. I don't want to be around you right now. It's for the best. Anita, what are you doing here? At my house. This early and barefooted. I, I, I don't know. I just found myself walking here. I'm not in the mood for your shenanigans, Anita. And frankly, I do not care what happened to you. You can go to hell and burn to ashes. Please, Antonia, I'm begging you in God's name. Ben just threw me out of the house and I left, wandering on the road till I got here. You were the first person that came to my mind to talk to. You should have remembered that before you went crazy on me. Go to your own house, Anita. And I'm not going to bother asking what you did to warrant him kicking you out. I'm sure you deserved it. And hey, I don't want to ever talk to you again. I mean ever. So lose my number. If I ever see your incoming call on my phone, I'll block your ass straight up. Are we clear? Bye. David, the whole thing felt so different. It was as tough as I was in a different world. When I placed my ear on the door to overhear her conversation with her mother, what sort of mother is that? I thought mothers are supposed to be kind and angelic, not evil creatures that help their daughter lie. I don't deserve this, bro. I really don't. Was it that I was not enough for her? I know you don't deserve this. You are a good man, Ben. You don't have to doubt that at all. It's okay to feel this pain you are feeling now because you genuinely loved her. But what exactly happened? You've been lamenting since without telling me what she did. I still love her, bro. Very much. Wow. This love is deeper than I thought. Will you go back to her then? No, I will not. At least, not for now. I need to heal from all this before I even consider going back. If I don't, I'll just end up hitting her. You feel me? Yup, I understand you loud and clear, bro. This too shall pass. Let's have some shots to clear the air, or tonight. Sounds like a plan. threw me out. He heard our conversation over the phone and he asked me to leave his house. I couldn't say anything. I couldn't even deny it. I was just like a statue standing there and my mouth hanging open. Calm down my dear. This is not the end of the world. Just relax. We will think of something together. Think of what mom? What exactly are we thinking of? It's over. I'm finished. Everything I've ever done to get Ben has been thrown down the drain over a single call. There's nothing to think of. I can't see any solution forthcoming at all. Shut up! Stop saying that. There will always be a solution. So long I remain your mother. Wipe away your tears, Anita. I will not let anything unfortunate to befall you. It has already befallen me all. No hope again. But I put my trust in you, mommy. I know you will not fail me. Good. Keep your hope alive. Meanwhile, have you told Andrew about the pregnancy? You think I should tell him? Of course, yes. He still loves you, doesn't he? And you can't also deny you have love for him. So tell Andrew first. Why I think of what to do to Ben? It's better you secure one of the two men first than having none of them, okay? Okay, I'll do that.
But bro, remember our university days when we didn't even care much about girls. Talk more of having a serious relationship. Good times, I must confess. But man, we definitely grew, you know. Exactly. I just can't believe I'm the one being committed to one woman, having mad respect for them and all. You know how hot-headed I used to be. How could I forget? I remember how I almost fought that girl at the bus stop that day, just because she called you broke. <laughs> Please don't remind me I'm embarrassed or any time I remember that. It's really amazing how much a person can grow when they are ready to embrace growth in their life. Wouldn't you agree? No lies detected. But you know, Antonia deserves an award for putting up with all your bullshit then. Because if I be a woman, I would not kill you since. She's a loyal one. Yes, she is. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for yours. Even though we wish otherwise, you are still protecting her. Tell me what she did, and I'll know how to advise you properly. If you don't want to say, it's fine though. Have you decided on your own what you are doing next about this whole thing? Not yet, my G. I just need a cool head for now. I can think of solutions and the way forward later. Andrew, I have something to say. Promise me you won't panic or anything of such. Panic? Why would I? I promise I won't panic. Please talk to me. What is it? <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. I... I... Anita, please calm down and talk to me. You are tearing up and I don't even know the reason why or how to console you. I'm pregnant, Andrew. Wow, already? That is good news. How is Ben angling the news? <laughs> I am so confused, Anita. Is that why you are crying? Or is this tears of joy? I thought this was the plan all along. What changed? Ben, he kicked me out. He found out about us. My God. So what do we do now? I love you and you love me. You love me, right? Of course I do. You know I do very much. Then let's get married. We still have all that money I gave you. We can start a life and family together. What do you say? This might just be the perfect time I have been waiting for all this while. I should collect all I can now and run. Andrew, you are quiet. Please answer me. What did you say? Sorry. I said let's get married, baby. Just the two of us and our baby. That will make me the happiest man on earth. But baby, I am so broke. How do I cater for you and the baby? What do you mean broke? You are broke how? What happened to all the money I gave you? You must be kidding, Andrew. You must. I am so sorry, baby. I didn't want to tell you I had put the money in an investment scheme, hoping to double it and show you I am capable. But it turned out to be a scam. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Hmm, it's okay. I forgive you. I don't have any more money. The only money I have is the 10 million chief gave me some days back to welcome me to the family. That's good enough, my love. We have this house you bought already and the money. It's enough for us to start up. Will you send the money to my account? Yes, I would. Just in case Ben wants to come collect it. Make sure you hold on to it tightly, okay? I will, baby. Thank you so much. You are a lifesaver. Mommy, Andrew has agreed to marry me. Good, that is one man successfully secured. Now we need to secure Ben as well, so you can have the luxury of taking your pick from both men. Things are starting to look up, Mom. I'm really so happy now. At least, if I don't end up with Ben, my first choice, Andrew is there for me. Exactly. Now back to Ben. We will go and see the Great One tomorrow for solution. Just keep your mind at rest. Everything will be sorted out soon.